Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another tutorial for you guys. This time it's on transitions in Sony Vegas. Now I already taught you guys the basic transition, which is the crossfade, and a few other transitions in there. But I'm going to teach you guys, I'm, well not really teach you guys, I'm going to show you guys a lot of the different transitions, the ones that I use, the ones that I think look silly, and uh, the new blue plugins, which of course I'll have a link to in the description. It's very, very cool. I love all their plugins, but it does uh, cost quite a bit of money. So I have my two clips imported here, and I'm going to first go to my transitions tab, and you can see once again all the categories on the side right here. Of course, anything with a blue box next to it or a blue box and a yellow box, you will not have those unless you have the plugins that I have which chances are you don't. But anyways, I'm going to go over the ones that you do have. Uh, so, first off, we're going to have to create a crossfade like we, do, like we did the last tutorial. So I'm going to take this, push it into the other clip until I reach one second. Uh, I just choose to do one second crossfade. It can be however long you want it to be. First one that I'm going to show you is the 3D blinds. These can be cool depending on how you use them. They also can look really cheesy. See how it just kind of flips them into the next clip so once again it can look cool can look cheesy 3d cascades starts and then it just kind of comes down in little pieces and arranges itself which isn't bad 3d fly-ins these can be cool um if you do it right of course like i said previously it just kind of flies out 3d shuffle this is an interesting transition. I'm sure that you could find many uses for this one. Oh yes. That looks so awesome. And now moving on, uh, Barn Door. This one is actually pretty useful. I've used this a few times myself. What happens is you have the clip right here, then the next clip just kind of comes in on the sides. And it closes like Barn Doors. That's all I can say. If you press the X right here, you can open up the transition properties and then you can change it so if I change this from horizontal to vertical you can see that it comes in from top to bottom instead of side to side and also it has some other effects like you can um, you can put on a border so you can increase the size and see how that's creating border you can increase the feather so it fades it out and then you can change the color to something different if you want that uh, you can customize it just perfectly fine however you want it and moving on we have the clock wipe it wipes around like a guess what a clock there we go once again if you open up the properties you can change the feather so it's a hard edge or it can be feathered a lot or whatever clockwise and counterclockwise very difficult choice there then we have cross effects these are actually pretty uh, pretty useful drag this onto here you can see what I'm talking about the clip comes towards you and then it'll fade and the next clip will go out it's just kind of a interesting way to add just a normal crossfade and change it up a little bit uh, we have the blur which is actually a pixelate no actually this is just a normal blur it'll blur it out and then it'll transition to the next one so it got cross blur A and B which blurs both of them and this is what it looks like it'll blur it until you pretty much can't see what's going on then it'll unblur and it'll be the next clip there's cross blur A only so only the first clip will blur but the second one won't so you see this one it'll start to blur and then the, it'll transition to the second one which doesn't blur that's pretty cool uh, we have the pixelate which will of course pixelate the two of them so pixelate then it transitions and then it unpixelates that can be kind of useful I haven't really personally ever used that one next we have dissolves these are different ways that you can dissolve the clips into each other you have the subtractive dissolve which is kind of a negative dissolve effect which is pretty cool uh, additive dissolve this one this one's kind of a flash except I like it a little bit better Mm, pretty good transition. Uh, you have threshold appear, which uses the threshold so it appears from the lightest parts of the map, my lightest parts of the image, and then goes to the darkest parts. That looks pretty cool. You can go in here and you can uh, 
make sure you can choose different ones you have threshold dissolve so it kind of dissolves in from bottom to top and that's pretty nice and there's tons of different things you have fade fading three different colors on here so it'll fade to red and then it'll fade out and there you go uh the standard flash effect so we got the flash right here boom it'll flash and then there's the next clip gradient map i'm going to be devoting a complete and total tutorial to this just all by itself later on because these are very good and totally customizable got your heart right here got your noise and uh the, these of course are extremely customizable and i'll just be down devoting a whole tutorial to those because they're very it's very complicated unless you know what you're doing then once you know what you're doing it's a very useful tool next thing is the irises it, it'll just iris out like that once once again you can go into here you can turn on a border so you can turn up the border you can feather it out things like that that's also a good one linear wipe this is another important transition it'll just wipe in a straight line across right here and you can go into the once again right here and you can change the angle so it wipes a different way you can change the feather so it fades more it doesn't fade at all your choice Venon, um, all of these page ones, I don't really like them. You can you can use them if you'd like, but I don't really see a reason to. It looks kind of really cheesy. You might find a way to use them. I don't know. Uh, portals. If anyone uses this, I will be laughing very, very hard at them because these just look totally ridiculous. So don't use them. Push. I've used these before. These are good. It pushes from one to the next. slides it slides in over the other one so it'll slide like slide in from the corner here which can be used uh spiral these ones just look ridiculous i'm not even going to try and mask it these just look crazy why do you want something that just flies around your screen like it, it's just i don't understand it moving on we have split these uh they split and then they leave so it splits into four and then it leaves or you could have it split in four and then come in. I don't know, your choice. Uh, squeeze, this squeezes the two of them together. So it's kind of like push, except instead it'll just squeeze it out and it'll start really, really small and then it'll squeeze the other one out of the picture. Swap these, it's kind of, once again, like push, except it's kind of like swapping two cards. They go out to the sides and then they then they switch positions one in front of the other then they go back to where they started Venetian blinds this one's actually pretty cool it, it kind of blinds like that it's kind of like a linear wipe on steroids you can go in here and you can uh, of course change the feathering change the number of blinds you know mess with it a bit change the angle everything like that then we have zoom which is also pretty ridiculous. I don't just want to see a picture zoom in like that. It might be good for maybe a slideshow or something of a, I don't know. I got really no idea of why I'd ever use that. Just kind of ridiculous. But if you want to use it, go ahead and use it. But there's all the basic transitions for you. I'm going to go into the new blue a little bit right now and show you what you guys can get if you decide to buy some new blue stuff. We go this one's one of the new blue glows it'll glow and then it'll transition and then it'll finish right there we have a the halo transition it'll just kind of this one will soften it out soft softens it out transitions and then back to here kind of defocuses it a little bit we have um a few pretty cool in here we have the pizza box transitions so it just kind of rotates around like a stack of pizza boxes and I'm not gonna lie that one's actually kind of pretty cool uh, we have 3d wiggle it's just kind of a very random and wild wiggling effect kind of goes crazy now it doesn't look bad um, and pretty much you just have a ton of different effects here 
this one's one of my favorites the roll it'll blur and then it'll slide to the next one see cool transition we have the shakes for if you're like editing to some screamo music or something it'll shake and then the next one will appear your choice if you like that uh, we have the shear right here just kind of the two of them uh, deform a little bit and then it goes into the next one which is cool uh, the shredder it works kind of like a paper shredder they just all come in at different speeds pretty cool smear it's this is kind of like the push transition except it smears it on and it's just a bit more blurry and it looks a bit nicer and that's pretty much all of the important new blue plugins I, i'm just giving you guys a little bit of a preview here because it, there are some very powerful plugins i'll once again i'll put a link to them in the description and uh, buy them if you want and if not then you can survive without them it's not like it'll kill you so i'll see you guys later thanks for watching